exploring a, a very interesting uh, report that has come in by Grant Thornton today on the show, and that's what we're going to go across to next and really take a look at how uh, businesses, uh, you know, and their association is with sport, how they actually benefit from their association with sport and whether they do so at all. Let me welcome in on the show today a very special guest, Vishesh Chandok, Managing Partner at Grant Thornton India. Vishesh, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, great talking to you after so long and it's a very interesting report that you've come out with, Vishesh, because it's, I don't think this has actually been analyzed before and looked at in such detail. So just take us through, you know, really what were some of the key trends that emerged uh, when, you when your team decided to go ahead with this? Yeah, hello, Abhav. Uh, good to be here. I, I, you know, this uh, particular extract is part of our international business report, something we've been doing for 20 years, uh, a report that looks at uh, the key views of business owners across the world. Uh, there's as many as 20,000 business owners in over 40 countries that we test about you know, the views about the economy, views about emerging trends, views about, views about topical issues. And obviously the Olympics, uh, are, uh, the Olympics is a topical issue at this, uh, at this time. Um, and the two you know, main themes that we tested with business owners were around you know, the involvement of businesses in sport and the impact of big sporting events uh, and as, you know, how that impact is perceived. The big, you know, the sort of stark difference that's coming out from the report is how differently emerging economies perceive sporting events and the potential of the sporting events compared to developed economies. Um, you know, emerging economies see sporting events as an opportunity to showcase their countries, uh, to attract investment, to uh, actually you know, bring in foreign direct, foreign direct investment into their countries, whereas developed economies do not see it uh, quite the same way. You know, they see it more as uh, uh, you know, something of relatively less importance. Exactly, and, and that's what I wanted to ask you going ahead as well, uh, Vishesh. Has the slowdown as well, the, you know, we've seen the slowdown, of course, globally, but particularly in Europe, in fact, it impacted investment sentiment this time around, uh, particularly with the Olympics at play in London. You know, we just had a, rep uh, you know, a report coming in from our uh, correspondent in London talking about how it's being declared as almost a ghost town. So do you feel that things are changing on the ground and we're not seeing businesses as involved as we had earlier? Well, you know, I think you know businesses generally in the uh, you know developed markets, businesses have been more involved, uh, you know, with sporting events. I think you know when you contrast that with countries like India, the business involvement is relatively low. Uh, you know, if you look at uh, you know India and you specifically talk about the Olympics, only you know 20 percent of businesses said they were doing something related to the Olympics. 80, for 80% 80 of Indian businesses, it was business as usual. Uh, but it's obviously you know, the country in which something is being hosted, um, there are much better results. You know, I, I, you know Brazil with 83% of you know, people uh, saying that uh, you know, the involvement with sport was important or very important for their country. And uh, as you know, Brazil is the host for the next Olympics and the next uh, Soccer World Cup. Poland with 82% uh, of uh, you know, businesses feeling that way. Uh, and Poland is the host of the next European soccer championships. South Africa, um, which was the host of the last uh, soccer World Cup, uh, where 78% of you know, businesses felt um, positive about hosting big sporting events. And even India, um, you know, where 63% of businesses you know, felt positive about hosting big sporting events. That is in stark, stark contrast uh, to uh, developed economies. Uh, you know, uh, the, the UK is going to generate over 20 billion dollars uh, of economic benefits over the next four years, half of which is in foreign direct investment. But I think still the ability of governments to convince their population about the need to host these events uh, is a lot lower in developed economies than it is in emerging economies. As I said earlier, you know, em emerging economies see it both as an opportunity to showcase their countries showcase their execution capability and uh, indeed attract uh, investment. Right. And, and is there data to show, Vishesh, that you know, with the emerging economies, at least in the ones that, that are, of course, enthusiastic about hosting such events, for example, we had the Commonwealth a while ago as well, and as you said, Brazil's coming up, uh, you know, hosting a couple of mega events. Is there data to suggest that they actually do benefit even after those games are over or, it, or during that period as well from hosting such events? 
Yeah, I, I, mean, I think you know, so the one you know, piece of data that I uh, that I quote is you know the importance of success in emerging uh, in sort of major sporting events, um, and uh, you know how high the response there was from Indian you know businesses. You know, Indian businesses believe the importance of success within the sporting events uh, was uh, uh, extremely high. 59% of Indian businesses that were surveyed felt it was a critical factor in them wanting to associate with a sporting event. Um, and you know, that is probably one of the reasons why as many uh, Indian businesses associate with cricket as they, uh, as they do with you know, some of the sort of more recent successes and as few as we know associate with things like the Olympics or even, even other uh, sports. You know, that is in stark contrast that to, to the importance through. of success. Mm. Um, you know the, the, the sort of importance of you know, success in those events for the country, as is perceived in developed economies. Whether it's the G7, where only 11% of business owners felt uh, it was important, and the USA, where only where only 5% of business owners feel, feel it's important for the country's success, for the country to be associated and to host events. Um, you know. Okay. All right. Uh, so, so that that contrast, perhaps, you know, it's, uh, it's the. Uh, no, that, that, and that's the interesting uh, revelation there as well as to uh, really how this plays out on the ground. Vishesh, thanks so much for joining us uh, this evening. Great to get a sense of uh, the business behind the Olympics and those findings uh, from the Grand Thornton Report. Pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us.